and welcome back. Remember, easy English for hard times. I'm Ioana. How are you today? Hello, Nectarie. Hello, Teodora. How are you? Hello. Hi, Teodora. Hello. How are you? I'm good. All right. And you, Nectarie, how are you? Uh, I'm tired. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You are tired after the last party, right? You were at the party last week, remember? Thanksgiving. Yes. All right. And for today, the, thanks, the acrostic poem. Remember? Thanksgiving acrostic poem. You had to write one sentence for each letter in the word thanks. Teodora, can I hear your poem? Of course. Please. There is this come, there is this come and go. Every month has five or four. hardly anyone's attention they demand. Ah, uh, but there is one but there is one month when Thursday is a special day. November's got the situation well in hand. Kings men, young and old, along with neighbors and best of friends, stop their no normal lab labor briefly and it's instead celebrate Thanksgiving. Bravo! Very good, Teodora. And yours, Te Nectarie? Uh, Thanksgiving is coming. Have you told your loved ones? Annually it is held, November in America, October in Canada. Kind and thankful to everyone you should be. Say who you are thankful to. Bravo! Well done! I, I chose a simpler way. Very good. Very good. Bravo! I'm so proud of you. Now, for you back home, we have now a very interesting topic. Remember Thanksgiving dinner, roast turkey with gravy, stuffing, cranberry sauce. Remember that sweet and sour sauce, sauce de merisare, also crispy roasted sweet potatoes. Also for dinner, they have fluffy mashed potatoes, green beans casserole, corn on the cob, ar fi porum peștiulete, tradus ad literam, and the last one, butternut pumpkin pie, a special pumpkin especially for pie. Un fel de plăcintar. This was their dinner. Now, we need to understand something that happened last week. Săptămâna trecută. Now, past simple for to be. A fi la trecutul simplu. We are talking about to be at past simple. If we want to talk about past events or actions happened at a definite moment in the past. So, for affirmative, the food was delicious last night. Also, we were late for school yesterday. I, he, she, it was. And for plural, we have we, you, were. For negative, we have I, he, she, it was not or wasn't. And for plural, we have we, you, they were not or weren't. For interrogative, remember, like in present simple, we change the places. And that is why we have was I, was he, was she, was it. And for plural, were we, were you, were they. And for short answers, we have yes, I, he, she, it was. Or for the plural time, yes, we, you, they were. And of course, was or was not, were or were not. Also, very important for past simple, we definitely need time expressions. Those definite moment in the past expressions. Yesterday, ieri. Last night, aseară. Last week, săptămâna trecută. Last year, anul trecut. Teodora, where were you last week? Last week, I was um, 
I was in camp, at camp. On a camp. You were on a camp. Nektarie, where were you yesterday at four o'clock? Uh, yesterday at four o'clock I was at the cinema. Very good. Also, another time expression. We have two days ago, acum două zile, sau în urmă cu de zile. Another one we have in 2013, because now we are in 2022. And another one, a week ago. Acum o săptămână, cu o săptămână în urmă. Teodora, where were you in 20? 21 in January. Um, I think I was at school, maybe. All right. Thank you. Bravo, Teodora. So this is past simple to be. This is Everyday Grammar. I'm Lucia. And I'm Kaveh. Guess what? Yesterday, I went to a CrossFit class. Really? That's great. I don't think I've exercised since last week. Well, I haven't been to the gym in a month. No, wait. The last time I went was two months ago. All I did yesterday was watch the new Van Damme movie. No way. I saw that two days ago. No, wait. It was last Tuesday. Past time words like yesterday, last, and ago are commonly used in English. Lucia and I just used a lot of past time words in talking about things we had done. Now let's find some simpler examples using the independent clause, John went home. Remember, yesterday means the day before today and can be combined with morning, afternoon, and evening. John went home yesterday. Or, John went home yesterday evening. Now, last is used with night. Long periods of time, such as week, month, and year, seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter, and days of the week. So, we might say, John went home last night. John went home last week. Simple, right? A go is even simpler. All it means is in the past and follows specific lengths of time, like five minutes ago or five years ago. You have here a text. Nectarie Teodora. Please read it in silence for 30 seconds and also try to remember some details. For you, home, we have Rick Damon, 34, is a dolphin trainer. He likes traveling. Last week, he was with his friends and family for Thanksgiving dinner. They were in the park playing lots of games together. Holy Cole, 25, is an architect. She is my cousin. She enjoys her profession very much. Last Monday, she was in New York to meet my parents at Thanksgiving. We were very excited about her visit. Teodora, Nectarie. Here are some questions about the text. Were Rick and his friends at the cinema last week? Teodora, were Rick and his friends at the cinema last week? Um, no, they weren't. Very good, bravo. And for you, Nectarie, where were Holly and my parents last Monday? I don't remember. Imagine last Monday, last week, they were at Thanksgiving dinner. Remember? Oh, yeah. All right. Now, what you have to do? You need to complete the dialogue, of course, using was, were, were not, or weren't, wasn't. Can you please read the text and also try to complete it? Teodora, Nectarie, please read. Teo. Where were you last week? 
You? Go on. You were at you you were at school all week. But if you're asking where were you last week, it's not you were at school. You was uh, at school all week. You weren't at school last week. Oh, Carry on, Nectar. Okay. Yeah? My family. Uh, my f my family and I were on a holiday in Egypt. Very good. Go on, Teodora. Really? Really? What was it like? Nectarie? Can it, you was, go on? it was amazing. There were snakes, spiders, and lizards in the desert. Mm -hmm. ne Teo? Was it very hot? Nectarie? Uh, yes, it was, but uh, at night it was quite cold. Very good. Let's check if you are right. So here are the solutions. Indeed, where were you last week? Now, can you please check the spelling? Orthographia, we have two words that are read the same, were and were. Where were you last week? The first one means unde, unde ai fost, unde ați fost săptămâna trecută. You weren't at school all week. My family and I were on holiday in Egypt. Really? What was it like? Here again, please beware. What was it like? Doesn't have to do with to like. N-are nicio legătură cu a plăcea. Cum a fost? În sensul de a descrie. So, what was it like? And here comes the description. It was amazing. There were snakes, spiders, and lizards in the desert. Was it very hot? Yes, it was, but at night it was quite cold. Dar în timpul nopții a fost destul de frig. So, for speaking practice, Nectarie and Teodora, here are some questions for you to ask and answer about your last holiday. Please, Teodora, ask Nectarie the first question. What kind of holiday was it? No, uh, it was the summer holiday. All right. Next one, Nectarie. Uh, was uh, the hotel good? What was it like? The... Yes, the hotel we went to was good. Very good. Nectarie. We... Just a second, Nectarie. The correct pronunciation for hotel is this one. Can you please repeat after me? Hotel. Uh, yes, hotel. All right, very good. And you again, Teodora, you said it very well. Hotel. Hotel. Very good. And you, home. Hotel. Very good. The next one, Nectarie. Uh, was the food delicious? What was it like? W what was it? What was it, Teodora? Um, what the food? food was really delicious. We mostly ate spicy food because you like spicy food yeah i do i quite okay enjoy it. all right next teodora the next question please was the place beautiful describe it uh yes it was uh, beautiful uh i was at a museum and uh, there were a lot of paintings on the walls very good. Bravo, Nectarie. And the last question also, Nectarie? Uh, were the people nice? Teo? Yes. Yes, the people were really kind. Kind and nice. Bravo, Teodora. Very good. Here are some names of food. We have nuggets, tuna steak. Can you repeat after me, Teo? Tuna steak. Tuna steak. All right, steak, friptura, tuna, ton. Monday, nectarie. Uh, Can you Monday. Do you know what Monday is, nectarie? No. Yes, this is a dish, an Arab dish. It's from Yemen and it consists of rice and meat. Are in components orez și carne. 
so Monday. Then we have cream, bacon, sandwich, kebab, steak again, friptura, hot dog, cheese, mushroom, milk, sour cream, smantana, porridge. Can you repeat Teo porridge? Por porridge. All right, this is terch. We have bread, shrimp, ham, seafood. Seafood nectarie, can you repeat seafood? Seafood. All right, fructa de mare. Jam, cottage cheese, roast chicken, pui la rotisor, spaghetti, we know from Italy, salad, pizza, hamburger, beef, carne de vita, mutton, carne de berbec, sausage, kurnaz, egg, oh, so all eggs, and pancake. Do you like pancakes, Theo? I don't really eat them, so no, not really. All right, all right. Do you like pancakes, Nectarie? Uh, yes, but not uh, American pancakes, R normal Romanian pancakes. Okay, all right. Now, because we say, we said something about food. We also have some imperative, like a suggestion. We use the imperative to give instructions to someone else. And also we form it with a bare infinitive, cu infinitivul scurt, like affirmative, please be careful, te rog fi atent, or the negative one, don't go to the party, nu te duce la petrecere. Also, we can use let's, if we want to make suggestions. For example, it's hot, let's go to the beach. So we need to make suggestions using let's. I've got a new board. Teodora, can game. you please go on? I've got a new board game. Let's play it. Bravo. Nectarie, the next one. Uh, this music is very good, uh, let's dance. Bravo, Teodora. This film is boring. Let's go home. Yes, let's go home. And Nectaria, the last one. The sea isn't uh, cold to today. Uh, let's swim. Bravo. Let's swim. Haide să notăm. Let's go home. Haide să mergem acasă. Let's play. Hai să jucăm. About the first one. And the music is very good. Let's dance. Haide să dansăm. Here we have some colors and some idioms or expression, but we call them idioms. Golden rule or regular, the hour. The most important rule, the golden rule in our class is to respect us. Once in a blue moon, very rarely, she visits her cousins once in a blue moon. Theodora, what do you do once in a blue moon? Uh, yeah, I visit my cousin once in a blue moon. All right, to feel blue, to be sad. Oh, sorry, I can't join you. I'm feeling blue. To see red, like in Romanian. Să vezi roșu în fața ochilor. That means to become very angry. Jack sees red when he catches his cat on the table. To have green fingers means to have a talent for gardening. My dad was born with green fingers. He's great with plants. Black sheep, why anagra? The same as in Romanian. Someone who doesn't fit in the group. Joe was the black sheep of the family, always getting into trouble. Can you please mention a person who is the black sheep in a group, Teodora? Maybe you know a friend of yours? No, we, in our friend group, we don't exclude anyone. All right, bravo, very good. Also, another important issue, must, trebuie. Please check that we don't have the infinitive here. So we have I, you, he, she, it with a must clean their kitchen. The negative one mustn't, they must not or mustn't yell at police officers and interrogative the same, we switch the place with it, 
the subject. Must I do this? We use must to express obligation. For example, Brian must study for his exam and we use must not if we want to express prohibition, something that is banned. For example, you must not run in the classroom. Nu ai voie să alergi în clasă. Teodora, please, Nectarie. We have must, mustn't. Can you please read Nectarie? Uh, people uh, must fasten their seat belts while on the plane. Very good. Teo. Ice cream must be kept in the freezer. Nectarie, bravo, Teodora. Minnie and Dad uh, mustn't eat in the museum. Well done, bravo. Teo. The teachers must prepare for the lesson. Correct. Bravo. Well done. Te Nectarie? My little, my little sister must not go swimming in the pool. She's only two. Bravo. Well done. Here are the solutions. As you mentioned, must you read this book quickly? Or my little sister mustn't go swimming. She's only two. Here we have, again, three things. Teodora, can you please mention three things you must do? I must eat, I must sleep, and I must read my book. Here is your homework for next time. Here you need to write five sentences about your last holiday using a color idiom of your choice, of course. Remember golden rule to feel uh, blue or to be the black sheep in a group um, or to see red an adjective at comparative or superlative. Remember from last time. Please don't forget to study English. Don't forget to write your homework. You are the best. Now that we're talking about the superlative, you are the best students, you at home. Till next time, don't forget to study English. Thank you, Nectaria. Thank you, Teodora. And you, my friends at home, thank you for being with us again today. And thank you for being so very good. Till next time, see you. Bye bye. Emisiunea este susținută de Fundația Bosch România, împreună pentru viitor.